Good afternoon, Peck Expeditionary Learning families, scholars, and staff. We are your student support team and we're really honored and humbled to serve your student scholars this year at Peck. And we're looking forward to how your student scholar can grow and learn. Well, we're back as a team. This is Miss Bush and Miss Thomas and Mr. Chow for Crew Time Edition 2. Again, Crew Time is a monthly video newsletter where we highlight um, some updates from our student support team, highlight some things that are going on within the school um, that can impact your student's scholar success, not just in school, but also in life. And so if you think back last month, we spoke about um, how does the environment that we're creating impact your scholars' future success? Because all of this will lead up to eventually what Ms. Thompson will start covering today, our habits of success. There are four key habits that we are going to have um, that we believe can truly impact your scholars' success, not just in school, but also in life in the future. And we'll introduce those um, in a moment. But first and foremost, I wanna turn it over to our amazing, amazing social worker here at the school, uh, Ms. Bush, uh, for some updates from the social work department. Hi, you guys, good afternoon. Regular attendance is essential to your child's success. Every day counts for them. We are currently competing against grade levels to see which grade has the best attendance. Let's make sure each grade comes out on top. And after that, we will have a surprise for them. Awesome, that sounds fun. That Ms. sounds Bush, important, yeah. Excited. And one thing that Ms. Bush has shared with all of us in our student support and attendance meetings is, if your student scholar misses 18 days of school, that's about 10% of school, mm -hmm. If you just count it year to year from kindergarten to 12th grade when they graduate high school, they've missed over a year of school. And the crazy part about that is that means that you're trying to go into whether it's college, career, CTE, military, you're going in maybe with the mindset of like a high school sophomore or junior where you're right. supposed to be already prepped as a senior. And so that's also important and why. So, mm -hmm. you know, Ms. Bush was very kind of sharing that with us. And I thought that was important for y'all to know, too. Yep. Yes. Thank you. But we'll turn it over to Miss Thomas. <laughs> Thomas. Good afternoon, everyone. So as Mr. Chow stated, we're going to jump right into our habits of success. We are an EL learning school. We're an experiential school. And so we want to start to define what the habits of success are. So there is collaboration, there's effective communication, perseverance, and compassion. So I'm gonna to talk to you all about each of those and define those so that you know what your scholars are working on here at school during our crew time. So with collaboration, it simply means that we are working together. We have crew lessons every morning where we circle up and we get to talk about a lot of things that um, are pertinent to your scholar while they're here at school as well as in the community. So working together to produce or create things and understanding the true meaning of crew that's important for collaboration. The effective communication piece is like the process of exchanging information, thoughts, and emotions in a way that your audience understands the message. So we are teaching um, your scholars in uh, crew time about how to effectively speak their mind and in a respectful way. Next, perseverance. That simply means just keeping, keep pushing, keep doing things even though they're, they may be difficult. We want to teach scholars to push through. So that is perseverance. That's our third habit of success. And lastly is compassion. Um, this just simply means showing concern for other people. Um, some examples of what uh, we are trying to teach uh, during our crew time is speaking with kindness, apologizing when they've made a mistake, listening carefully without judgment, encouraging others, being happy for someone else's success, as well as accepting people for who they are. So just to reiterate what our habits of success are, collaboration, effective communication, perseverance, and compassion. So now over to Mr. Chow. Hmm. Very well said, Ms. Thomas, very, very <laughs> well said. And so, yeah, so these four habits of success, which will be starting to be introduced one habit at a time, uh, month to month going forward is what we're going to start working with with your student scholars in crew time and throughout the school to really help your scholars try to embody these characteristics. Um, November, we're going to start off with collaboration. And so before we get to collaboration, the theme for October, though, is this word called unity. 
And so unity is imperative or it's super important for any school, any team um, to be successful. For, for any time that we try to engage in a new activity, anytime we try to engage in new endeavor, which we are together as an expeditionary learning school, we are all ha we have to work as a team or in unity in order for us to succeed. So some of y'all might be wondering why we're all wearing caps. Well, we're starting our Red Ribbon Week theme this week. So obviously your student support team is united in helping create these themes to help stand against drugs and obviously for healthy lifestyles. And so unity, again, is about really, truly about partnership. It's about trust. It's about, hey, like when the family and the school and your student support team and your teachers, when we trust each other, when we have that unity, it's very difficult to break because we're moving all in the same direction. So now to get to there, now that takes sometimes, takes work, takes trust, takes working through different situations or different challenges that we might have. Collaboration. We need to learn to collaborate with each other in order to create unity. But here's one of the greatest thing is all the greatest teams in the world, whether it's a business team, whether it's a chef team, whether it's a restaurant team, whether it's a football team, a basketball team, the best teams that succeed and win the championship always have unity because they all have a single solitary or a couple goals that they're all tracking towards. So families today, this year, what are some of the goals that we can work with with your student scholars? As Ms. Bush highlighted, what are how do we work together from your academics or your school side? How do you create unity in behaviors? How do you create unity in attendance? Because what we know is if your scholar can work hard and continue to grow with their academics, their behavior and their attendance, they will succeed. And they will achieve more than you could ever imagine that they do this upcoming year. But it comes back to this, this process and this thing called unity. So where do we start from here? Well. Let's keep a good communication line. Reach out to us if you have any questions, any concerns. We want to partner with you to help work with you to support your student scholar. Because here's the thing. At the end of the day, when we are unified as a school, when we're unified as a student support team, when we're unified with you as the parent, we know that we can grow. We know that your scholar can grow. Mm -hmm. And in some ways in the business world, I'll use a big business term. Uh, they call it synergy. Where there's unity, unity, there's synergy. And you might say, well, what is synergy? Synergy really is where one plus one, aha, trick question, does not equal two. One plus one equals three. Because in other words, where two people are working together, they might be able to do only so much. If they work in unity and synergy, they end up doing not only what they can do, but they do even more they can ever imagine. And more can they imagine is what your student scholar can do when they achieve and they grow as a student in their behaviors. If we work together as the family, right, one, and the school, one, together, the person that benefits in the end is your student scholar. And that's what we truly believe. And so families, thank you all so much for your support. Let's stand united this upcoming year um, in, in your student scholar success. I know there's a, some craziness as we get ready to move into the new building in a couple of months, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, but let's continue to keep that communication going. I hope to see all of your student scholars here at school. Can't wait to welcome them. And uh, let's continue to work together and let's see all that they achieve this year. And with that, this is the end of Crew Time Edition 2. Bye-bye.